previously in the producer community. Serato DJ and Serato Studio has stems. Why don't we have stems? Wah! Well, it turns out that Serato was listening to you guys the whole entire time. For your information, I did get this from Serato. Serato reached out to me and they wanted me to check it out. And I wanted to spread the word because a lot of people were talking about not having stems in Serato sample. However, I do not know about a release date, we'll know, and this is a beta version, so certain things could change, certain things could be improved, just in case, you know, something might crash and be weary. I'll tell you right now, from my testing, I haven't experienced any crashing, which is a good thing. And the workflow is pretty awesome. So the sample that we're using is this right here, and I think it's very appropriate. You can find it at 16levels.com as we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop as we should. The link will be in the description box and you can use the code 50 hip hop to get 50% off of your purchases. Check us out. Nothing but soul. So again, let's just drag the sample over and we'll drop it in the Serato sample. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just show you some preliminary stuff. What I usually do is set random over here at this part of the screen and then that will chop up the sample itself as long as you press that. But you know me, I have to add drums first. That's how I work. And now for the sample chops. Well, if you don't know what's going on, let me explain real quick. Just like I mentioned earlier, this features the new Serato Stems option inside of Serato Sample, which was highly requested. Uh, this sample in itself, if I was to play it from the very beginning, and I will, actually has drums in it. So I muted the drums. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys are very excited about this. I mean, this is a pretty big deal. So again, if I'm playing the sample, I can remove certain aspects of it too as well. Like not just the drums, but maybe the bass. And perhaps you don't want to go through filtering or anything like that, but you just want the pure melody. Well, you have that option. And then you can go over here and remove that as well. And if it had vocals in it, you can either isolate or take away vocals. There's no vocals in this track, clearly, so that function does not have its place. But as you can see, it is pretty phenomenal. I'm 1000% sure that there are people out there that will say, man, well, I love Slice X, and I hope you're not one of them. Or you might be in a different DAW like Ableton Live where the sampler itself is pretty damn decent. But here are the things that I want to highlight for you guys. So the biggest highlight of Serato sample in general over other samplers is intuitiveness and easy workflow. So let's go ahead and play the sample again and we'll talk about it. So one of the things that I must highlight is the algorithm for time stretching. As you can hear, even with me using the stems itself, the quality, the audio quality is second to none. And I'm gonna go up in tempo to something more ridiculous. And as you can hear, it's no aliasing or a little to no aliasing. I I will say that the quality is second to none, if not the best in the industry. The other thing clearly is the stems. Like bringing that stuff in, taking stuff out of your sample, just opens up the ideas. And that is something that is unapologetically Serato. The other thing about this, you know, you have a undo button, which counts for something. And then you have two different playback modes. Uh, one, the hold mode, which is not 
normally what people use for sampling, but this right here, the trigger mode, is. That's more like the MPC or any confident sampler on the market right now. And I said confident instead of competent. Uh, you also have mono and poly, so if you wanted to use one shots, well, the poly mode will help you out there. And then the other thing that I like to highlight right over here is the key. So we already know that this sample is an F minor, but it's been tuned down to semitones. It's originally a G minor. And as you can hear, I can tune it up some more and I still have that information. And that's valid information in today's production world. But let me go ahead and tune it back down to F minor. You can confidently sync it. You can unsync it if that's not your thing. Like you don't want to use the time stretch algorithm. Uh, you can also do double time. Which sounds a little insane. And then you can do half time. Maybe I wanted to do that. Let's go ahead and add the drums back to hear how it flows. And now let's bring it back. The other thing that you could do, let's go ahead and remove those drums again. Get back to this smooth sample. Is that you can select all of your chops. And why would you want to do that? So you can mess with certain things like filter. You can also filter each chop individually too as well. But this is just something I wanted to show you. You can also level stuff out. Let's go ahead and check if you can double click. Can't double click, but who cares? You can also adjust the attack. Maybe you want your chops to come in a little softer or if you might have pops or something like that, that's ideal to use that feature. And maybe you want to use the release. You can also reverse, which is also can be done independently. You can favor chops. And then you can further mess with time stretching and key shifting. So those are things that are key to the Serato sample workflow. One thing I did notice is this Q icon, which normally means quantize. And I'm wondering if that is similar to like how DAWs work. If you turn quantize on or whatnot, uh, does it make the sample quantize to a certain key or does it quantize the chops itself? Uh, I don't know for sure, but we'll find out momentarily. Now, again, I just want to remind people, you know, maybe you might see this video a little later or whatnot, but I'm using the beta version of Serato sample 2.0. And, you know, there are supposed to be some things that might be added, some things that might change upon release. And I don't know about the release date, but as far as what I've tested out within the limited amount of time that I've had with this, Everything seems sound, like all the normal stuff is fine. They didn't change anything, which is cool. I didn't expect any changes uh, outside of the Serato stems implementation. And I kid you not, it's just as good. Now for different people, it, you will have different results depending on your computer. Clearly uh, the stems feature itself can be CPU intensive. Same thing with the time stretch algorithm in Serato samples. So if you don't have a well and equipped computer for computer music at this time, I recommend that you know, you know, you invest in yourself and get a adequate computer for the job. Uh, my computer is about two, three years old and it didn't really struggle that much, but it took a second for the actual calculations of the stem so it can break it down in stems but it wasn't long enough to where it took like me out of the creative process. And that's one thing that I truly like. Also, I do recommend that people do check out Serato Studio. I think it's slept on, even though that has nothing to do with this video itself. But you know, Serato Sample is here and you have stems inside of Serato Sample. And I think everybody is happy about that or will be happy about that. Leave a comment below and let me know. To the right of me, I got more content for that as make sure that you subscribe serato sample 2.0 stems well we made it guys we did it 
all of the harassment of Serato and they have delivered. Now, how will you respond?